What is up YouTube? This is Nanashi with a brand new deck profile video. This time I'll be showing you the changes and updates to my shark deck. Now normally I like to space my updates out a little bit more, but as it happens I've been getting requests to update this deck more than anything because apparently a lot of people like sharks and fish and coelacanth. And with the new release of the White Aura support as well as the Marincess cards, I can understand why people are excited to see my take on this build after all this new water support. Let's take a closer look. Starting off with the monster lineup, we have one copy of the three-star tuner, Fishborg Archer. If it's in the graveyard and I have no monsters during either of my main phases, though this is a hard ones per turn effect by the way, I can discard a water monster and special summon him from the graveyard, but I have to destroy all monsters I control at the beginning of the turn's battle phase except for water monsters. A playset of Double Fin Shark. When normal summoned, I can target any level 3 or 4 fish monster in my graveyard, special summoning it in defense mode with its effects negated. One Royal Swamp Eel, a basic 4-star fish tuner that simply says that it can only be used for synchro material if the other material are fish types. A playset of Silent Angler. If I control a water monster, I can special summon him from my hand, but if I do so, I cannot special summon any other water monsters from my hand for the rest of the turn. A playset of White Stingray. I can inherently special summon it from my hand by discarding a water monster, and if it happens to be special summoned from the graveyard, then for the rest of the turn, I can turn it into a tuner monster. A playset of Windup Shark. When any Windup monster is summoned, I have the ability to special summon Windup Shark from my hand, and that's not once per turn, by the way. Also, it has the ability to increase or decrease its level once per turn. A playset of Xyz Remora, the heart and soul of this deck's ability to play at an amazing speed. I can inherently special summon it from my hand by double detaching from any number of Xyz monsters I control. And if I happen to do so, I can target any two level 4 fish monsters in my graveyard and special summon them in defense with their effects negated. The monsters I pull back with this effect cannot attack, cannot change their battle positions, and can only be used for the Xyz summon of a water monster. But that doesn't say anything about Link summons. And one copy of Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth for now. By discarding a single card, I can special summon as many fish monsters of level 4 or lower from my deck as possible, with their effects negated, and they also cannot attack. And if he would happen to be targeted by a card effect, I can tribute any fish monster I control to negate that effect. Next, we move into the spell cards. I have a playset of Call by the Grave, one Foolish Burial, Triple Generation Force, which says that if I control an Xyz monster, I can add any card with Xyz in its name from my deck to my hand. And the only target that I run right now, much to the dismay of some people out there, is Xyz Remora. Sorry, still no Sly Dolphin. A playset of Instant Fusion. One Monster Reborn. One Raigeki. One Rank Up Magic the seventh one. Two Twin Twisters, and with the amount of recovery this deck offers, why wouldn't I? And a playset of Whitefish Salvage. It allows me to add any fish monster from my graveyard to my hand as a hard once per turn, and if the card happens to be destroyed by the opponent's card effect, I can either add to my hand or special summon any fish monster from my deck. Now as far as the trap cards are concerned, I'm keeping it very simple and sticking with a playset I call The Haunted and a single solemn warning for now. Moving on. Next we move into the side deck. I have a playset each of Herald of the Abyss, Shared Ride, Goes in match, Solemn Johnson, and Solemn Strike. And finally, we finish up with the extra deck. First off, I have a pair of Rare Fish, which is my instant fusion target. One copy of the brand new 7 star synchro Wide Aura Monoceros. Just like all the other White Aura Synchro monsters, if it happens to be destroyed in battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard, I can banish a water monster out of the graveyard to resummon it and is treated as a tuner monster for the rest of its existence. But its unique effect is that when it's Synchro summoned, I can special summon any fish monster from my graveyard, but that monster cannot attack. This has made Coelacanth extremely easy to pull and extremely abusable with all the graveyard drop cards I have now. One White Aura Whale. Its unique effects are, when Synchro Summoned, it destroys all opponent's attack position monsters, it can attack twice per turn, and it does piercing battle damage. One totally awesome. By tributing an Aquatide monster, I can negate any spell card, trap card, or monster effect, destroy it, and if I happen to destroy it on the field, then it gets set to my field. 
In addition, if he goes to the graveyard by any means, I can add any water monster from my graveyard back to my hand. One, number 71, Rebarian Shark. If he has Xyz material, I can target any number monster in my graveyard, special summon it, and transfer a material from Rebarian to that monster. And if he happens to go to the graveyard by any means, I can stack a rank up magic spell on top of my deck. One, Abyss Dweller. By detaching a material, he can negate the activation of all cards that activate in the graveyard. And while he has a material that's originally water, he boosts all my water monsters by 500 attack. One, Bahamut Shark. By detaching a material, I can special summon any rank 3 or lower Xyz monster from my extra deck, but he cannot attack for the rest of the turn. One full armored Black Ray Lancer. I can special summon him by stacking him on top of a rank 3 Xyz monster, or I can summon him by using 3 materials. He gains 200 attack for every material on him. If he destroys something by battle, he can also target and destroy a spell trap on the opponent's side of the field. And if he would be destroyed, he can attach all materials instead. Number 37, Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. This card's basically become a forerunner in my deck for when I don't know what I'm really up against. When any monster declares an attack, I can attach a material from him and all monsters on the opponent's side of the field lose a thousand attack until the end phase. And if he would be destroyed, I can target any other monster in my graveyard and special summon it. Number 101, Silent Honor Arc. By double detaching, I can target any opponent's attack position monster that was special summoned and attach it to him as Xyz material. And if he would be destroyed, I can just simply detach material from him instead. Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. Once per turn, I can target an opponent's monster and attach it to him as Xyz material. And if he is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while he has Xyz material, and while number 101 is in the graveyard, I can re-summon him and gain life points equal to his original attack, but he cannot attack for the rest of the turn. One, Marincess Coral Anemone. And I know this is a bit of an expensive tack in this deck, but I assure you I got it through coincidental means, not by paying cash. I can target a water monster with 1500 or less attack in the graveyard and special summon it to my zone this card points to, but I cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except waters. Also, if it happens to go to the graveyard, I can target a Marincess card in the graveyard except herself and add it to the hand, but uh, that effect's not really applicable right now. Give it time. One Mermail Abyss Alacia. While on the field, all monsters that it points to gain 500 attack and defense, and if she happens to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can send any water monster from my deck to the graveyard as cost to target and special summon any water monster from my graveyard in defense. And finally, one copy of Miss Starboy. Generic booster, gives all water monsters 500 attack, reduces fires by 400, and if it's destroyed, I can add any water monster from graveyard to hand. And that is the deck. But now that this deck can function incredibly well pretty much on its own, I can start having way more fun with the tech ideas that the water attribute offers. In fact, right off the top of my head, I'm thinking about removing 7th one for a second Coelacanth, and removing Rebarian, Black Ray Lancer, and C101 for something along the lines of maybe uh, Shark Drake, Marincess Marble Rock, and a card I used to run way back in the day, Mermail Abyss Gaios. But that's all up in the air, and you might be able to look forward to that in the next update, whatever that might be down the road. I thank you guys for watching the deck profile, and if you can think of any way that I can improve this all-water deck, feel free to let me know. In the meantime, this has been Nanashi, signing out.